Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Google Play Store version 4.3.10 for your Android device. So let's get started. So first you're going to just want to hit the link down in the description. Then once you do that, it'll download as an APK. Just click on it, go ahead and install it, and then open and you'll be uh, greeted with the new Google Play Store. So some new things that the update uh, brought is recently uh, updated, which is sort of a new little section where it'll show you the apps that you have well recently updated. So as you see here, we have the updates on the older Play Store and then the up-to-date. We still have this updates on the newer Play Store, but you now also have a recently updated. Uh, also, I can't really show you right now because I, uh, I already updated the Ds, but if you go ahead and update multiple apps, it'll go ahead and just show as one notification so you won't have a huge list of all the applications that you just installed or updated. Uh, if we make our way to the books, they now have a new list option. So we'll go over here and we'll take a look. I believe this book had it, yeah. So we have Undead and Unsure here. So if we go ahead and take a look, we can see that we have a list price now, which is something I believe Amazon does. So you have the list price and then the available price from uh, Google Play Store. And on the older Play version, as you can see, there's no list price. So that's kind of nice to see what uh, the list price is and then see what you can actually purchase it for through the Google Play Store. Uh, making our way to the movies and TV section, we'll notice a small change. Let's go ahead and click here on the X-Men uh, Origins. The rent and the buy uh, tabs have switched from the top to the bottom, they made a little change there. So uh, take that with what you will, the really minor change. Everything down here seems pretty much the same. So if we make our way to the apps, we'll notice a new thing with the uh, all reviews. So here we have it on my Nexus 7. All reviews used to be a whole little tab down here where if you clicked anywhere on the same line where it says all reviews, you can bring up all the reviews. Uh, in the new Play Store, you can't do that. You can see I'm tapping here on anywhere on the line. You have to actually hit the All Reviews button to bring up the All Reviews. So that's a little change. And uh, lastly, something in the settings. If we go ahead and open the settings, right where I'm covering my thumb shows you your email. So you can go ahead and switch between email accounts that you have connected to the device uh, for fast switching uh, to get to the Play Store. Maybe you have different content on there or anything like that. You can go ahead and switch between your accounts pretty easily. And I'll just round it off by showing you the build version 4.3.10. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe down there for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.